Hey there, welcome. This is Chris Abraham, Chris Cast, Season 2, Episode 7. This is called the Post Shame America. And what Post Shame America can do uh, that shame based America can't do, it uh, runs amok. And running amok is what the Merry Pranksters do. And by Merry Pranksters, I am shouting back, Hey Google, what are the Merry Pranksters? According to Wikipedia, the Merry Pranksters were comrades and followers of American author Ken Kesey in 1964. The Merry Pranksters followed Ken Kesey, not Ken Kesey. Anyway. um, And even though it's going to be disgusting for... Uh, for us, for us fellow, uh, for we fellow, for us fellow literati, um, I'm going to call them Merry Pranksters because I just think a lot of this has to do is with, um, um, is just, is just fuckery. I mean, it really is just, uh, sowing, sowing chaos in, in much the way that one, uh, pulls pranks, um, and gives swirlies to, and riles up uh, school marms and hall monitors. Nerds, geeks, dweebs, school marms, and hall monitors. Oh my. Uh, We'll get into that. We'll get into the shamelessness, the shamelessness of America. I talked about it in yesterday's episode, episode six, where I talked about how we live in a world that doesn't feel shame for bankruptcy, for losing your home, for losing your job, for being a single parent, for getting a divorce, for getting an abortion. Uh, the only shame left right now is the shame, the undying shame associated with being infected by COVID. Oh my God, that means that you are morally uh, negligent. That means that that you're a hypocrite, right? In a world where you need to protect yourself and others to actually catch the plague and be sick with it, if not just uh, sickened by it or infected by it or uh, tested for it, tested positively for it. I'm not going to go into any of those conspiracies. Uh, can give you endless shame. But, but of course, no shame associated with with anything else in America. Um, like I said, uh, bankruptcy was a huge one. Uh, uh, being under a load of debt is not, unless you're on a, unless you're, unless you're, unless you're an upper middle class person trying to date, uh, nobody else expects that you have a lot of money. Nobody expects that you're out from under debt, debt. There's no shame with being un. actually, I think that being under a crap load of, uh, academic debt is the same kind of like, uh, if you will, um, uh, um, humble brag associated with uh, with owning a house, right? You brag and brag and brag about all the money that you owe for your Harvard degree. Like, that's a total humble brag. That's not a real shame. The shame would be is if you were under lots of money for Trump University or uh, for Phoenix uh, online uh online college um phoenix phoenix is that what it's called anyway uh we'll be back right after the break Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Chris Abraham, Chris Cast, Episode 7, Season 2. Hey Google, can you play the scene from the room that says, uh, I'm, you're, you're tearing me apart, Lisa. Sorry, I don't know how to help with hey, that. Hey Google, Here- you're tearing me apart, Lisa, from YouTube. 
Playing Songify the Room, You're Tearing Me Apart on YouTube Music. I did not hit her. It's not true. I did not hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Please, Ali, stop. You're tearing me apart. You know what they say. Love is blind. Let's go eat out. Everything is fine. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you, this is a beautiful party, you invited all my friends. Everybody, let's eat cake. I have an announcement to make. I fed up with this world. You get the chicken. How can you do this? You make me sick. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket. You're going to destroy Johnny. He's very sensitive. Leave your stupid comments in your pocket, son of a bitch. How did I hit her? Oh, hi, Mark. Please, Ali, Ali. You're tearing me apart. You know what they say. Love is blind. Let's go eat now. Everything is fine. Hi, doggy. What a story, more. Anyway, how is your sex life? All right, there's enough of that. Very funny. Holy mackerel. I didn't even know that existed. That's from The Room. Um, a songify. Uh, let's uh, take a break and I'll be right back. <laughs> Hey there, welcome back. Chris Abraham, Chris Cass, Season 2, Episode 7, on the shamelessness of America. Um, I was just talking about how uh, this, and I'm going to talk about it next time, which is uh, next time, next episode, maybe a couple episodes from now, I'm going to talk about the fact that everything that's going on is a class war disguised as a race war. It is a um, a misdirection. It is a co-option by uh, by 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 the uh, thousands of multimillionaires in America who are desperately trying to to stave off a race war. They want they want their their enclaves to remain safe. They don't want to have to start um, buying. Um, guards and walls and 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 i mean the cost of the cost of um of of class 3 weapons just you know ar15s and um and M, uh, uh, mp5s and mp7s and all kinds of other uh carbine type weapons to defend your place including all the um all the bulletproof glass and the bulletproof walls and and the panic room and the giant walls surrounding it and then the technology the active defenses i mean it's just exhausting so it's much easier to legislatively uh turn every uh potential um uppity so and so um define him as a um as a um threat um a what is it? Comment dieu? An enemy of the state and a uh, domestic terrorist. That's the way you do it. Unfortunately, nobody has any shame. And this is why we'll get back to what's coming today, which is the second. Um, it's more like a censor. Censure. Hey, Google, what's the definition of C? Hey, Google. What's the definition of C-E-N-S-U-R-E? -E? Here's the definition of censure. Express severe disapproval of someone or something, 
especially in a formal statement. So uh, this uh, second um, impeachment is going to be a censure, uh, more than a censor, a censor, cen censure. Cen uh, Hi, Mark. <laughs> I don't know if uh, if that's how you pronounce it, but I know what it means, and it means um, bad, 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 bad boy. This goes on your permanent record, and um, this is supposed to humiliate Americans. It's supposed to humiliate all of us, not just uh, the deplorables, not just the people grabbing their guns and grabbing their Bibles, clutching their Bibles, clutching their guns. It's to humiliate and shame all Americans that they that they were that they it, it, it's sort of like um, uh, the red. Um, uh, what is it called? The. Um, the red trunk or the red, the red, um, anyway, so if one ranger, uh, does pushups, then all rangers have to do pushups, right? Um, one down, all down, uh, one infraction, all infractioned. So this is a, a, an attempt to, um, manifest the scene from, and I know this is hackneyed and cliche, the scene from um, um, Game of Thrones where uh, the queen, I guess, walks around naked through the uh, village, I guess, and people yell at her, shame, 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 shame. This is a desperate attempt to shame and humiliate um, the uh, white supremacists of the country uh, who number 80 to 100 million people. Now, these people have been through a lot, right? I mean, I know they're garbage people and I know that they um, uh, own guns and that they have, um, they have IQs of 80 and all these other things. Um, but they, they, they were in high school. They know how high school works. They know that the um, lip service given by uh, school marms, um, um, angry nuns, um, school monitors, principals, uh, uh, nerds, um, you know, even the kind of lip service that, uh, the valedictorians give, uh, by saying, oh my God, all you guys are freaking idiots. I'm so happy. Next year I'm going to MIT. Fuck y'all. Um, all that stuff doesn't bother them anymore. A lot of them, um, while we're going through a narrative where the 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 troubles of white supremacists should and in fact be entitlement white entitlement and and the um uh the suffering by people of color and immigrants and african americans and american descendants of slaves should eclipse um, the uh, entire suffering of white America, um, which I'm going to call a class as opposed to a race. Like, uh, white America lives paycheck to paycheck. There's a difference between, you know, a, someone who has uh, their, who, who's on track for their retirement and who has a personal wealth, um, personal uh, wealth uh, manager and someone who, you know, uh, needs three jobs. Like there's a lot of, there's more white faces in America needing three jobs than there are anybody else. Like it's just in terms of masses of people. Hey, Google, how many white people are there in America? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Hey, Google. How many Americans self-identify as white? Sorry, I don't understand. Alexa, volume 10. How many, uh, Alexa, how many white Americans are there? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the world population today is approximately 7.74 .7 billion. White Americans' population is 243,832,540 people. Hey, Google. I mean, sorry. 
I'm sorry if I did something wrong. Sorry about that, Chris. To report a problem, you can send feedback. Alexa, how many African Americans are there in America? In 2016, the African American population in the United States was 40.2 million people. Alexa, how many people of color are there in America? Here's something I found on the web. According to TeamVogue.com, the 10.3 million people, one-fifth of rural America, are people of color. Alexa, how many Asians are there in America? In 2016, the Asian American population in the United States was 16.6 .6 million people. Alexa, how many Christians are there in America? The number of Christians in the United States is 247 million. Alexa, how many people in America went to graduate school? Here's something I found on reference.com. As of September 2014, the U.S. population is 318 million people and approximately 30 percent, or 95 million, have graduated college with a bachelor's degree. Another 17 percent, or 54 million, have graduated with an associate's degree. See, so the numbers are crazy. Like, hey, Google. Sorry, stop, stop. Alexa. How many Americans identify as white? 246,660,710 Americans are the pertainees of white. Did that answer your question? Yes. Thanks for your feedback. That's crazy numbers. Hey, Google, what was the population of the United States in 1970? 205,052,174. There, there are still more white people in America than there were people in the United States when I was born. Hey, Google, how many, what was the population of the United States in, in, in 1980? 226,542,250. We're getting closer. Hey, Google. What was the population of America in 1990? 250,131,894. There we go. Uh, in 1990, there were uh, as many Americans total as right now there are white Americans who live in America. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, they're not going to go away. Uh, even though city centers... Uh, seem completely diverse. I mean, my apartment building is mostly Mongolians uh, and Latinos. And there's a lot of African Americans and there's a lot of um, uh, various and sundry people. There's quite a few soldiers. We have a couple cops. Like, my building is market rate. So we, we definitely have a lot of immigrants. And this entire neighborhood, Arlington Heights, off of Columbia Pike has huge amounts of uh, immigrants. But outside of our ring roads of our major cities, uh, the diversity is garbage. Um, let's see. What are the numbers? Can I fish out of the hat? Um, hey, Google. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Google. No. Sorry about that. Alexa, how many Latin American people live in America? Latin Americans' population is 569 million. In 2020, the population of the United States was 331 million people. Alexa, what's the uh, number of Hispanics in the United States? The number of Hispanic people in the United States is 56,600,000. Alexa, what is the number of white people in the United States? The number of white people in the United States is 197,700,000. Wow. 
Wow, that's a different number. Uh, Alexa, how many white people are there in the United States? The number of white people in the United States is 197,700,000. Well, that's much better. Alexa, how many white people are there in America? The number of white people in the United States is 197,700,000. Wait, I didn't they say 254 or 200 and I uh, that's a better number for me. If uh if 100 million people, 100 million white people disappeared off uh the United States in the last 10 minutes, I'm okay with that. Um because like I live locally and think locally, so I don't even know what that means. Um Let's try again. Alexa, what percentage of the United States is white Americans? White Americans' population is 243,832,540 people. In 2020, the population of the United States was 331 million people. Yeah, I don't know. It fluctuates by only 100 million. So, I mean... Oh. Um, hey, Alexa, how many people live at or below the poverty line? Here's something I found on the web. According to house.gov, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, more than 37 million people live below the poverty line. Alexa, how many Americans make less than $100,000 a year? Here's something I found on the web. According to externosally.com, that is a bit less than 1 in 27,500 Americans, which is quite low by world standards. Alexa, how many people make less than $50,000 a year? Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, how many Americans make less than $50,000 a year? Sorry, I don't know that one. Um, Alexa, how many Americans make less than $75,000 a year? Hmm, I don't know that. Well, I'm going to bore you guys to death, so sorry about that. Um, the only reason that I'm being so racial right now, and I don't mean to, is that I think a lot of people who live in cities like me don't see it, right? They don't see it. Um... They don't see that that you know that um, that per the percentages of uh, various and sundry minority races in America are still very much minority unless they can all uh, gang together and really you know dominate um, uh, in concert and and because I personally know that not even uh, two Latin American people can agree. Uh, because uh, Latin America, Alexa, how many countries encompass Latin America? Here's something I found on the web. According to Alcation.com, there are 21 main countries in Latin America. If you go by the definition that it is the region of the Americas where Latin languages are spoken. That's a lot, right? Each one of them have their own unique culture. Each one of them have their own unique hopes and dreams. Each one of them have their own political affiliation or their vision or their desire and their religion and etc. So sundry ones like various have more uh, Indian influence. Others have more Spanish influence. Others have more Nazi influence. Others have... Um, what other races, uh, Japanese, Asian, like there's such a broad spectrum of people, like not even, not even Hondurans and Costa Ricans and, and, um, um, uh, uh, not even Central Americans can, uh, can Guatemalans, like they can't, they can't agree. And, uh, then you've got the proud Colombians and, and the Venezuelans and you've got the, the it's just it's a huge hodgepodge um and so like i really think that this is a strong misdirection and it's trying to the only way you're going to ever get 
uh, control over the monster that is between 150 and 250 million people in America, um, even if that's only 50, 60, 70, or 80 million people who are self-identified MAGA people, you're going to have to make them smaller. You're going to have to make them humiliated. You're going to have to shame them. Unfortunately, I believe that the only reason that they ever uh, manifested in such strong ways uh, to actually get Trump into the presidency is because they will be shamed and humiliated no more, which is extremely dangerous for command and control structures, right? For law and order, for 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 any long-term planning, for any global uh, intentions, for any integration into global trade, for the um, consistency of planning, for the consistency of a stable, not only a stable country, but a stable global trading and a, and a stable global politique. So that pissed-it-offedness of like a lot of people who are post-shame are potentially very dangerous and will not be re-educated, they will not be uh, reintegrated, and they will not uh, be shamed, humiliated, or brought to heel. Um, I mean, look how they're acting with regards to the pandemic, uh, with regards to masks. I mean, everything is an opportunity to uh, create, adopt, or or uh, um, embrace a conspiracy or um, a defiance, etc. So let's come back after the break. I don't know whether I've got more steam in me or whether we are going to um, uh, uh, call it quits for the day. I might come back and ask uh, Google to play the Mary Tyler Moore, uh, the Mary Tyler Moore theme for us. Okay? No, I'm going to. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them to play us the theme from MASH, okay? See you right in a second. Welcome back. This is Chris, Chris Cass, Chris Abraham, Season 2, Episode 7. Hey, Google, can you play the theme from MASH? Playing Suicide is Painless, M-A-S-H theme, on YouTube Music. Suicide is painless, it brings on many changes, and I can take or leave it if I please. The game of life is hard to play, I'm gonna lose it anyway, the losing card I'll someday lay. So this is all I have to say. Suicide is painless. Suicide it brings on many changes. Changes as I can take or leave it if I please. The sword of time will pierce our skin. It doesn't hurt. its way on in the pain grows stronger watch it breathe 
suicide is painless. It brings on many changes. And I can take or leave it if I please. A brave man once requested me to answer questions that are key. Is it to be or not to be? And I replied, oh, why ask me? And you can do the same thing if you I bet you didn't know those were the words. Anyway, I'll be right back to close off this episode. Thanks for listening. (laughs) Welcome back. This is Chris Abraham. Chris Cast. Season 2, Episode 7. If you... Uh, I have no intention of committing suicide, so if I am suicided, please tell your friends. Um, Yeah, that's a really great... I'm going to basically make these show notes just the lyrics of that song. It'll really freak people out. Anyway, happy to be here. Happy you're here. Happy you're still here. Uh, Especially after having to listen to um, uh, uh, Echo and uh, Google Home so often. They're, they've become extensions of my brain. And when Google is being coy and not wanting to be impolitic uh, or politically incorrect, um, it seems that Amazon, uh, the brosef known as Bezos, is willing to answer the tough questions still. Shame on you, Google. Anyway, we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. This is Chris Cast, Chris Abraham, Season 2, Episode 7. You can reach me at chris at abraham.su. You can find my website at chrisabraham.com. You can text, uh, WhatsApp me, um, uh, signal me uh, at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. You can call me, but I won't answer unless we have something scheduled which you can do at calendly.com slash Chris Abraham. The home of this podcast is anchor.fm slash Chris Abraham. If you want to support me, you can uh, go to anchor.fm slash Chris Abraham slash support. I believe if you want to message me, it's anchor.fm slash Chris Abraham slash message. Um, you can find me on iHeartRadio, on iTunes, on Spotify, on Apple, etc. Stitcher even, I think. Um, happy to be here. Happy to know you. On social media, I'm still not deplatformed. At Chris Abraham on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. And that's it. Uh, merci beaucoup. Um, donc, well, donc, 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 um, um, gracias, uh, gracias, um, hasta luego, um, hasta mañana, hasta la próxima, ciao, a biento, a tout a l'heure, um, au wiedersehen, and ciao. We'll talk soon, and thank you for... Oh, real quick, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, review. 
on as many platforms as you can. Also, share this with your friends if you find it interesting. And um, like, follow me, blah, 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 on all my social platforms. Until the next time. Cheers. Whee! <sweak>